Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you the CEW 360 watt high pressure sodium retrofit bulb part 2. Now I know I made a video of this bulb 3 months ago, but I just decided to use a different ballast for this bulb, but it worked nicely, but it didn't warm up as fast as it normally does. So the reason why I'm making this video again is because I have the right ballast for it, the M59 ballast. So anyways, this particular bulb came off eBay for $20, which was not that bad for a retrofit bulb. So anyways, let's take a good look at the etch. You can see that it's made by CEW. It's a Retro Ace, 360 watt. It just runs on 400 watt ballasts, mercury vapor and metal halide, but not high pressure sodium because it includes an igniter. And this has a glow bottle full of neon. The arc tube's quite long. It's a little blackened because it has been used a little bit. There's the dimple for extra support for the arc tube. And in case if you didn't know, three months ago, I said the lumen output was 50,000 lumens, and that is true. So it's going to warm up very fast, and it's going to start up more brightly as compared to the one that I made the video on with my 175 watt metal halide ballast. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and give this bulb a shot, and we'll see how it starts up. And hopefully the little glow bottle doesn't have any issues with the arc tube striking. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and screw it into my brand new test fixture. So put the camera right here so we can get a good view of the arc tube bulb. And now I got safety glasses on so I can protect my eyes from the intense light. And now we will turn it on if this thing will focus. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. And I also forgot to mention that I said that there was more mercury in the arc tube. There actually is not. It's the same amount, but it's a different starting gas, which is actually argon. Normally high pressure sodium bulbs use xenon gas. And that's why it gives off the mercury vapor color. This bulb produces 50,000 lumens and has an average life of 24,000 hours. And it's already turning orange. This bulb is also similar to my Westinghouse Ceramilux 250 watt cycling high pressure sodium bulb because it gives off the same colors. Except that this bulb has a glow bottle full of neon gas for the igniter. So you don't need an igniter unless you break it. And the fixture is at full brightness. And as you can tell, it is super bright in here because this bulb produces 50,000 lumens. This bulb is mainly used on the highways. So it is very bright in here. It's lighting up this whole room. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this second part of this CEW 360 watt high pressure sodium retrofit bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.